What is up? AGZ gang. Now guys, we have five K subs. <laughs> we 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 gained two hundred subs in a day. Guys, I appreciate you guys for showing me so much love and support. Honestly, I really do for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. Now guys, we are halfway to 10k. We're halfway to 10k. At 10k, we're doing a big, big, big giveaway. We're not doing a giveaway at 6k or 7k or 8k or 9k. At 10k subs, we're doing a big giveaway. When I say big, it's going to be big. Multiple people will be... When I say multiple, I mean multiple people will be winning this giveaway. So it gives as much people a chance to win as possible. There won't be duplicate winners. If you win one thing, you won't be able to win another. Just want to throw that one out here now. This is probably the last time I'm going to say it until we reach about 6K subs or probably 7K. I don't want to announce at the start of every video that there's going to be a giveaway. Um, and the video you're about to watch, um, I'm a bit tilted because... I this is the first recording I've made of the video um, and I made it about two days ago and after yesterday a lot of things happened uh, I got to experience um, people use fruits that I thought were kind of eh and made it a bit ooh so my opinion had changed about the fruits um, I made an updated video I, mean, I literally just recorded a video about 30 minutes ago about 40 minutes ago and it turns out in the video my mic wasn't on so I am kind of pissed off about that but it is what it is these things do happen and you can't help it now I, I did post on my community page that I'm just gonna show you guys because why not um that yeah that the video was gonna come up today's video would come out late but I don't like making you guys wait I don't like making you guys wait. I really don't. I don't um, like prolonging prolonging things. I don't want to be that guy that just delays things, you know. I like to be on time. And I want you guys to to have that content out there. So um, I'm going to make do with what I've got. I do still have the first version I recorded. However, at the end of that video, I will put the, up, the picture of the updated tier list. Um, I do explain the explanations for a lot of the fruits are different in in the uh, one I recorded just now that the mic wasn't on. However, I guess it just doesn't matter. Like I can't help it, and I don't want to record it again. That would that would be quite a quite tedious um, for me at least. You guys wouldn't have known unless I told you. But um, so yeah, I hope this is good enough for you guys. I, I'm, I apologize for the long intro, um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and remember the grind never stops, road to 10k. <laughs> what is up? <laughs> A G Z gang, yes sir. Now guys, guys, guys. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of you guys have been requesting me to make this video, which is weird because I always talk about the fruits. But then again, it's not weird because we got a new update, and with the new update, we've gotten two new fruits, which is Zushi and Phoenix. Um, as everyone should know or already knows. Now. Um, I'm just gonna a lot of you guys said I should make this video kind of detailed I should um, go in depth um, about why I'm placing certain fruits away on the list blah 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 now since my last tier list video a lot of things have changed my opinions on things have changed there's been buffs there's been nerfs there's been all types of stuff that's been going on. There's still types of stuff that's going on. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, so the first fruit on the list. This is Gravity slash Zushi. Um, this is a Paramecia fruit for anyone that doesn't know. 
and from from what I've seen, I'm going to place it a. Ooh, I'm gonna place it a tier. I'm gonna place it a tier. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna explain why I put it a tier, not s tier. Um. Main reason I put it. Okay, so one of the reasons I put it into A tier is because you cannot ship farm with this fruit, like, like at all, really. Um, ship farming is important to a fruit's overall um, rating, um, where it's placed on the tier. Ship farming is important because ship farming is important in the game. It's very important, actually. When new fruits come out, the only way to grind to get those fruits is essentially is ship farming uh if you rely on devil fruit spawns which is like completely random if you're unlucky you might go f six hours of our devil fruit spawning once you know um yeah no don't rely on that don't rely on devil fruit spawn ship farming is the best and most reliable way to farm fruits sushi isn't capable of doing that it's it's not really capable of doing that. Its kit is not centered around ship farming or whatsoever. Ship farming is already as annoying as it is sliding off of boats and shit. Yeah, Zushi is not good for that at all. Um, in terms of PvP, this fruit's pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. You can pull off some OP combos if it's in the right hands. It's pretty powerful. Now I haven't. Um, I have fought some Zushi users, but Zushi is a fairly new fruit and I'm just going to assume people need more time to get combos right and, and really test the fruit out. However, I haven't really fought any like extremely powerful, overwhelming Zushi player. Like, I haven't seen any crazy combos yet. Um, if you guys do know any good Zushi players, we can have like a friendly 1v1 or whatever, but... I haven't personally I haven't seen any like crazy Zushi users um, everyone that I've faced in the arena that's had Zushi I've beat um, friends that have the fruit I've 1v1 that beat them so yeah just gonna say that um, but I do know it's um, combat capabilities are pretty high I know it's a pretty powerful fruit so I'm gonna give it its respect and place an A, a tier Okay, so next on the list is Suke. Now Suke is, who Suke is a weird one. Suke is a weird one. Um, I'm really just gonna put it on um, straight C tier. I should put it D tier, really, but I'm gonna put it C tier only because I recently saw a video of someone beating people's asses with Suke. I'm gonna place a clip to their video. I'm gonna put uh, the YouTube channel just like right below so you guys can you know go check out the videos for yourself but i've seen inf people infinite combo with suke um crazy by the way how do you allow yourself to get infinite combo by suke that's beyond me um i have really have nothing good to say about the fruit um pve uh I guess it's good. You can act, you can like walk around bosses without them noticing you. Or, but then again, it's not viable for to farm with. Um, ship farming, it's it, it's it's trash. Um, PVP, it's it's trash. It's trash PVP. Like, what can I really say? Suke is not that great, especially in arena. People can see you in arena now. People can see your dots. Everyone has Ken Haki. It's not viable, like at all. It's not good. Okay, so we're just gonna move on from that. Bari, 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 Bari. Now, before Bari used to be really damn bad. Like I would, I would have put Bari here or here. Now I'm gonna put. Ooh, whoa, that's the wrong place. I'm gonna put Bari at B. I'm gonna put Bari at B. Bari's not worthy of an A tier. Um, and it's not bad enough to be put down with the likes of Suke. Now, <sighs> uh, yeah, Bari, Bari's down bad. <laughs> down bad, terrible. Down bad, terrible. Uh, was that the right wording? I wouldn't say down bad, terrible, but 
it's not the greatest, okay? Um, I've seen some OP Bari strategies. Yes, I have seen OP Bari strategies. Um, I've seen... Me, personally, I've never lost to a Bari user. But I've seen Bari users beat... Um, Logia users, I've been bar I've seen Bari users beat Phoenix players, I've seen Bari users beat people up. You know, trap them in the little thing and combo them to death. I've seen Bari users go crazy. I have. I've seen these things happen firsthand. Bari got a buff, but um the spike move block breaks now, which it should have done in the first place, by the way. But it block breaks now. Um but what's so great about it, like, PvE, it's, it's good, I guess, if you, if you're farming with other people, like, solo Bari players, like, you know how hard it, no, PvE, Bari's trash, ship farming, Bari's trash, PvP, unless you're really bad at the game, you're getting beat by a Bari user, um, I've yet to be beat by a Bari user. I don't know what else you want me to say about it. I don't know a lot of people are probably going to say it's A tier. But it's not. It's genuinely not. <laughs> it's genuinely not. Right. Moving on to the next route. We have Goro Goro no me. Straight S tier. Straight S tier. I, I, I don't even know. How can you argue with that? Straight S tier. Now. The reason Goro is really good. Okay, so I'm just gonna list things people already know. It's Q dash is good. It's move set is really good. You got the teleport punch, crazy. You got the get get out of jail free card, the Goro lightning strike thingy. That's crazy. The AOE on that move is stupid crazy. Dummy dummy, dummy good. Um, what's Goro got? Um, it's it's ultimate move, Raigo. It's not the best, but it's pretty good if you know how to use it. If you combo it, if you combo it well, you can catch people off guard with it. It's pretty good. It, it can be used as a good combo extender. Um, it's versatile, it's flexible. Um, it's not like crazy good to to ship farm with, but it's damn well decent actually. It does. It gets the job done, especially if you for, maybe not solo farming, but farming with other people. Yeah, yeah, it gets the job done. You you hit them with the um thunder strike move and and you're you're set. You know you get credit. Yeah, you get a chance at the drops. So what else do you need? It's a pretty good fruit overall. Pika Pika no me. Pika Pika no me. Now. This one is controversial. I'm gonna put it S tier. It's definitely S tier. Definitely S tier. It's definitely behind Goro though. Um, now the reason why Pika, I still place Pika at S tier is even though it got hard nerfed. Like, this fruit got hard nerfed. Hard nerfed. you said, hey, even though nobody's complaining about Pika, I'm gonna nerf it anyways. The only thing people were saying about Pika is that it drains, Pika kick drains too much stamina. And it really does. Pika kick drains hella stamina, bro. Like, we wanted that to get buffed. Not for the whole fruit to get nerfed. Who was actually complaining about Pika Fly? Who was complaining about Pika Fly? Because though I feel like the people who are complaining about Pika Fly genuinely either never used Pika or have never fought a Pika user. Okay, so people's main complaints about Pika Fly was people use Pika Fly to escape from combat. Huh? What are you talking about? What are you honestly talking about? Pika Fly scaled how fast Pika Fly goes, scaled on how much health you had. If a player was had no health, Pika Fly was slow as hell. You could run faster than you could Pika Fly if a Pika user had low health. So who was really complaining about that? No one was complaining about that. Um, if a Pika user has full health, Pika's gonna fly fast as hell. One plus two equals three. It was it was there was never anything in between that. If you have full health, Pika would fly. If you didn't have full health, Pika wouldn't fly as fast. 
it's, it's been like that. It's always been like that. And I don't get how people were complaining that Pika users would fly away. If Pika users flew away at full speed against you, you didn't even do you didn't do damage to them. That's a fucking skill issue. That's a genuine skill issue. Genuine skill issue, by the way. Um What else got nerfed? Um Pika Alt Pika Alt was bad anyways. No one cares. People um my, in my kit I never used Pika Alt anyways, so I, I don't really care about um Pika Pika's ultimate move. Um Mirror Kit got buffed. Um, Mirror Kick's still bad even though it got buffed. Uh, so I don't really care. I never used the Mirror Kick in the first place anyways. It got buffed. It's still a bad move. Um I good yeah. Um Light Lunch got buffed. Light now Light Lunch always block broke if you hit someone from behind with it. And if you TP'd into the, if you TP'd whilst someone light lunged you, like if you used the TP dash, and someone um, light lunged into you, it would block break you also. If you didn't know that, well, it used to be like that. Um, now light lunge always block breaks. Well, 90% of the time block breaks. It picks and chooses when it wants to, even now. Um, and I feel like. I feel like it's meant to do that simply because I saw does the same thing however it's kind of annoying because it's kind of spammable it's very spammable but it's not it's not a hindrance it's not like a big it's not gonna make drastic difference in terms of um, whether you win or lose so I guess that's that it is what it is but yeah um, Pika is great for ship farming is great for farming bosses. Is great for farming in PVE in general. Um, is good at PVP. It's really an all-rounded balanced fruit. Well, in terms of how good it is, is pretty pretty goaded. Um, the main the main issue is Pika's flight getting nerfed. Kind of made it shit. You can't even you can barely make it from one island to another. With, even with a thousand stamina, <laughs> without without drowning, so um, yeah, for you kind of threw Pika in the dirt, and everyone that had Pika slowly started to transition into other fruits. So that's GG. Okay, next on the list is Magu Magu No Me. <laughs> Slap that straight into A tier above Goro above Pika. Now, um, if you recall the last tier list video I made, the last tier list video I made, I'm pretty sure when I made that I had Magu, so it was it was biased. And even at that, I put it in B tier. <laughs> if you saw the last tier list video, I put Magu in B tier. Now, Magu's always been a good fruit, and it's always dealt crazy amounts of damage of damage if you used it right. Now the problem with a lot of people who used to have Magu is they never used to use it right. A lot of people that had Magu would be Devil Fruit spammers. Magu never used to be a Devil Fruit spammer fruit. You had to to, to actually land Magma abilities. You had to do follow ups. You had to do follow throughs. You had to do combo strings. Because all its moves were blockable except for Magma Swamp. Magma Swamp isn't exactly the best move in its kit. Pretty, pretty trash, to be honest. Magma Swamp's pretty bad. Oh my gosh. Magma Swamp's pretty bad. So, yeah. Um, Magma used to be B tier, mid B tier, slash high B tier. Now it's the best, one of the best fruits in the game. Hands down. This route for PvP, oh my god. I see a Magma user and I'm genuinely scared because that Magma user 9 out of 10 times is going to be a Magma spammer. The reason why everyone feels so comfortable just spamming Magma moves is because Magu Hound is now a block break. Um, Magu did need a buff. It really did. It really did. However, damn, this is crazy. 
Can we can we get some skilled MAGA users in the chat, please? Skilled MAGA users, hold your hands up. Yeah, put your hand down because you're MAGA spam. I've seen you in game. Um, it's not nice. It's not nice. It's like all my MAGA videos that I've made got thrown out the window, and they made MAGA Hana a block break, and people said, you know what? There's a block break. I'm just gonna spam it. People's playstyle is kind of like now is um they use Magu Hound block break you nine out of ten times are gonna be near a wall or not too far away from one and they spam Magu Rain on you and you're dead. <laughs> you can't do any Magu Rain is one of the, is is the highest damaging Devil Fruit move in, in the game. It's the highest damaging Devil Fruit move in the game. Especially if all of them hit. Yeah, you can block Magu Rain, but it's gonna it's gonna block break you. <laughs> it's gonna block break you, bro. It's gonna block break you. And what do you do after that? What do you actually do after that? Nothing. You can't do anything. You're dead. You can't do anything because you're dead now. So Magu straight S tier. Ship farming, Magu is one of the best. PVE, Magu is one of the best. Boss farming, Magu is one of the best. It's overall a god tier through now. So, GG for you for that. Next on the list we have Mara 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 no me. Now Mara Mara is her. Me and Mara have a, a rocky relationship. Um But I'd like to say I've moved on from the relationship. <sighs> I've definitely moved on. I don't have any grudge against Mara anymore. Um However I still find it to be an annoying fruit, but it's not as bad as it used to be. Um Mary did receive some nerfs, however, these nerfs have meant absolutely nothing because it's still tremendously overpowered. Um, so we're going to slap that on... Mm. It's between low A tier, I mean low S tier and high A tier. So low S tier, high A tier. We're going to put it at low S tier. Um... The reason I say low S tier is because it's still kind of blandish. It's in my opinion. Now I've seen a whole bunch of good Mary users now. So, since the last time I made the tier list video, since the last time I made the why Mary is the worst gate Logan in the fruit um, game, which granted I made that video a very long time ago, but. Mera has definitely risen up the ranks. Mera is definitely now. We're gonna start off with PVE. PVE is it's it's really good. You got fireflies that deal a hell of a ton of damage. You can AFK farm fireflies for the rest of your life. Um, um, ship farming is pretty decent. You know you can solo farm with it. Boss farming is good with a party. I wouldn't like you can solo some bosses, but mm, um. PvP is really good. Now, I've seen a lot of people do this Roku Shiki into Enkai combo. Um, you guys are trash bags, and I hope your PC actually blows up whilst you're using it. Um, because that's such a scumbaggy combo. What can you actually do against that? Roku Shiki Enkai? Come on, bro. And then you're going to win the fight and say skill issue. No, you're, you're the skill issue, my guy. But we're not talking about those guys. We're talking about the guys that actually use Mera, right? Um, and I've seen a couple of them. I've seen a couple of them. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty good. The Flame Pillar is crazy. has some crazy iframes. Um, if you use Flame Pillar correctly, you can get out of almost every situation. Um... Enkai, Flame Pillar, two of the, one of the, two of the most um, powerful abilities in the game. So yeah, Mera is definitely definitely redeemed itself. Now we got Phoenix. 
We got the Phoenix Fruit. The Tori Tori. High A tier. High A tier. High A tier, bro. In, in, in all honesty, it's a high A tier. <sighs> I know you guys are confused as hell right now. Huh? What? A tier? Why is it not S tier? Why is it not S tier? Gay! Gay! <laughs> Hold on. Just let me explain real quick. Now, Tori is a beautiful fruit. Everything about this fruit looks absolutely beautiful. From the, the fruit itself, the way it glows, the way it moves, magnificent. It's truly, it's truly a mythical fruit. Um, to the bird, to the bird form itself, oh my gosh. So majestic. Do you hear, do you hear it when it's flying through the skies? Oh my god straight straight orgasmic my guy straight orgasmic however big however too however this fruit is flawed and flawed in a way that kind of it kind of makes it balanced because you can you cannot put 500 points into devil fruit and and think you're gonna win any pvp matches with phoenix um, I've seen non logier users beat Phoenix users. I've seen, I've, I've, I've seen, I, I kid you not, I have seen fruitless players beat Phoenix players. Um, you might be thinking how this is possible. It's called use your head. Play tactically and and stop running in and spamming abilities, and maybe you'll stand a chance against a Phoenix user. Now. Anyone that's ever seen any Phoenix gameplay knows Phoenix drains a whole bunch of stamina. Phoenix drains dummy stamina. Cool, you get Phoenix low, he heals up. He can probably heal from low about twice if not three times depending on how much stamina he has. And he has no stamina. He's gonna have no stamina. That's when you go all out. Preserve your hockey. Don't be an idiot and go all in. And don't be an idiot and go all in and spam your devil fruit abilities. The thing about this game is there are a lot of people that are good at it. But what really separates um, good what separates good from goated are the people that don't just um, brainlessly run in and spam abilities. It's the people that actually tactically play. And I've started to see a lot of these types of players. I faced against... Um, a lot of these types of players they don't just go in and throw their abilities all around the place because they can they actually wait oh shit i'm up against a phoenix player i know if i play the waiting game i play it safe and damage him when i can he's gonna run out of stamina eventually and i can go crazy on him a lot of you don't do that but there are some people that do that i've seen it so a phoenix player runs out of stamina what happens He's not able to use abilities anymore, healing abilities. Not a lot of people play Phoenix how I play Phoenix, and I only use Phoenix in combat to either do star starburst stream, heal, or um, or to gain some distance. That's the only times I use Phoenix. I don't use Phoenix offensively. I use my trident. I use whatever sword I have equipped at the moment. My sword is always going to be the, my main source of damage because it has the it has the length, it has the reach, and it has the damage output to do what I need it to do. Phoenix is a support, it is a secondary. Phoenix is not my primary, it's my secondary. So even if I run out of stamina, it's fine because I have my sword. However, a lot of players I've seen players put a whole bunch of points into fruit, health, and stamina. How are you winning any fights? How are you honestly winning any fights with all your points in Devil Fruits? Phoenix has one offensive move. Who are you actually beating? Do you run away until the person quits the game? Because that's the only way I can think of you actually winning with being a Phoenix main. It makes no sense. Phoenix isn't as good as everyone thinks it is. Now, 
you, you can technically be immortal, but that's only if you have certain types of playstyles. Like my playstyle, like no bragging shit. My playstyle, even if I ran out of stamina, I'm gonna get my stamina back. I have a 13 t I have a 13 tick regen, and my main source of damage is my sword. So I'm gonna be hitting people with my sword anyways. I'm not gonna be in my Phoenix mode. Whilst I'm hitting people with my sword, my stamina is regenerating. So Phoenix isn't as OP as everyone makes it um, look to be. It's t completely terrible at PVE. Like it's dog water at PVE. Y you can't ship farm with it. <laughs> you, like you actually can't ship farm with it. Um, you can't do bosses with it. Like what can you actually do with Phoenix other than PVP? And it's beautiful to look at. Let's be quite honest. It's it's capabilities place it far below. If we want to, if we want to take it there, we could put, we could put. Nah, that's dead. Yeah, we're gonna leave it where it's definitely better than Zushi in terms of PvP because you're technically immortal. And on top, of, remember, it's not a Logia. It doesn't have a Logia bar, even though I feel like it should because it has Logia type attributes. However, that would be too OP. So. I guess it is balanced for it to not be um, have a low gear bar. Um, yeah, no. Um, people can hit you without hockey. That's like incredible. The fact that you're able to get hit without hockey is really big. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's really big, and that's why I say use your head when you're PVPing a Phoenix player, because. You will always have the upper hand. You can damage a Phoenix player without having Haki. Start using your head. Start using your head. And next. Next we have Bomb. Bomb is trash. I'm not going to lie to you. Bomb is actually dog water. Jesus Christ. This fruit is terrible. Like if, if <laughs> a part of me wants to, wants to do this. Or do this. But that's me being critic, like really, really just being biased towards it. Um, I've yet to see a good bomb player. Bomb's been in the game for a long while. Um, people always say, people always say, um, people always say something, something about what do you call it? It has infinite combos or something like that. I I mean I've seen videos, but like, have you ever actually run into that in game? No. Um, bomb players usually tend to be trash. I'm not gonna lie to you, they do. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry if you have bomb and you got offended by what I just said, but bomb players tend to be trash. Um, there's nothing really good about the fruit, in my opinion. It doesn't do that much damage at all. Even if you have a lot of points into um, into um, what's it called, Devil Fruit, if they use their ult, you can survive. If you have any, excuse me, if you have above 650 to 700 health, you'll survive a blast um, full of from a fully charged um, bomb ult, which is stupid because at the end of that ultimate, that bomb user is going to be on his last legs, so. I don't get why that's a thing. It should be one shot regardless, in my opinion at least. Maybe not one shot, but damn near one shot. It should scale really highly if you're sacrificing your health for it. But yeah, that is the end of that video. No kizzy. Um, I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with my list, but I feel like it's fairly, fairly accurate, to be honest with you. Um, Definitely more laid out than the last tier list. Uh, Magu is definitely the best fruit in the game right now. Oh, uh, guys, it looks like I forgot Hiei. <laughs> How does one end up forgetting Hiei, please? Alright, so Hiei. Hiei is between Magu and Goro. Right here, he is right here. Let's imagine it. Let's imagine an imaginary here, right in between Goro and Magu. Now, 
the reason why he ate is he ate, right? The reason why he ate is that he ate is still overpowered. <laughs> Everyone that said he ate is trash now is clearly bugging out and has never actually used the fruit. Or is just genuinely bad at the game and used Ice Age's broken hitbox in every scenario that they could. <laughs> um, now, Hiei is... Hiei is how it's meant to be. Hiei is how it's meant to be, guys. This is how Hiei was actually meant to be. Like, releasing the Hiei Hiei fruit into the game at launch, Hiei was meant to be like this. It was not meant to have a broken hitbox. Hiei should have never had a hitbox that big. Hiei was just... It was, it's not a nerf. This isn't a nerf. This is just making Hiei how it was meant to be. Because Hiei was fucking broken. It was broken before. 10, 10 miles ahead? You could be in Japan. And I'll be in America. And I'll still get hit with the Ice Age. Uh, I'll still get hit with the Ice Age. Isn't that crazy to you? That's broken. That's not... That's not OP. That's bro straight broken. Broken. Ice Age was broken. So Ice Age is made how it's meant to be now. Um. Yeah. Um. What? Okay. Cool. What else is? What else is? Um. Got nerfed and buffed. So they nerfed the Ice Age AOE. Um. Ice Pheasant. Ice Pheasant got a nice buff, guys. Ice Pheasant was buffed. Now, Ice Pheasant will hit you. The AoE is larger now. The AoE is huge on Ice Pheasant, alright? Once you get hit with Ice Pheasant, once you get back up, you still, for a split second, it's not the longest, but for a split second, after the ice froze or disappears, like you, you see how you're encapsulated inside the ice block? After the ice block disappears, you're still not able to move for a split second. A split second in PvP means everything, by the way. Um, yeah, that is pretty OP. Um, and the same thing applies to when you get hit with Ice Stomp too. <laughs> very, very, very overpowered. Um, but yeah, no, that's really it for for um, Hiei. You guys already know what Hiei does. Hiei, Hiei be bussin'. You can still get infinite combo by here. Anyone that's told you otherwise is cap. I've definitely seen. Maybe it's not as versatile as it used to be in terms of how broken it was. But it's still very, 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 very viable. I know a lot of good here users currently. Um, so just because you're not good with the fruit doesn't mean the fruit isn't good. Just going to throw that one out there. But yeah, that's here. <laughs>